and uh, it just felt a natural high from it. You know, I mean, uh, it kind of sparks you up. It kind of gets you going, and uh, you know, it gets you to uh, you know feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm. Like you know, it's about to be a hundred and sixty. Mm-hmm. You you take your characteristics uh, that you know about yourself, and you work on those and you improve those, and you develop a belief system in yourself that nobody can tear down. And that basically you can, uh, uh, I can apply it to every aspect of my life, not just with women. You can do it with your your employment. You can do it with sports. Uh, uh, basically anything you want to, you know, and it gives you a strong belief in yourself. See, if I had your information a few years back, man, I, I would not have gotten a divorce. Uh, I promise you that. And I, I even say this much. With what I know now, with the mind state I got now, um, and I've got texts from my ex talking about this. This is strange, and I didn't put these words in her mouth. She said, you know, Ken, I really respect you. That's what she texted me. The very hey. first time I heard of you, Until roughly three weeks ago. And I listened to that interview over and over and over. And then finally, I thought, well, I'll check out his, you know, I'll search him on, I'll Google him. And then I, and then I bought one product. And, oh, my shit, this makes sense. And then I, you know, then, then I went to the next one. And it says, well, you get out of life what you put into it. And it just, it snowballed. And then I was just, man, oh, man. You gave me that foundation. Like, uh, you, you've always said that human thinking, it, if you're a human, you can't have alpha thoughts. But there's a difference between being a human and trying to have alpha thoughts and versus adapting what you've learned to what suits you as a person, as a man, and to say, well, these are the rules that I that these work for me, you know. Right. What are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm I'm great, Dean. Yeah, real good, man. Um, yeah, for real. I just um, I just really like to say how much uh, dirty talk is really uh. Until really had an impact on on everything I do or every sort of interaction I have with women now. It's uh, it's great. <laughs> let me ask you something. Um, let, me, let me ask you something, Tim, real yeah. quick. Before you uh, really got into dirty talk, uh, what is the difference between how things were before and how things are now? I'd say before. Well, before um, before I started listening to to the dean. Um, I mean, I I did or I did pretty well with women um, before, but um, the problem really was uh, um, I didn't have the um, how can I put this? Uh, I guess I, I just I'd, sometimes I'd I would give myself excuses not to talk to women, not to um, not to really get what I wanted, not to go after what I wanted, and. Um, since I listened to Dean, that's Six. that's that's no longer a problem. I mean, I, I go for what I want, um, and you know, I don't take it, I don't take it personally I, um, if it doesn't go my way. Yes. You know? Yes. Yeah. Um, and also, um, I mean, to be honest, uh, my success with with women now is uh, is at a point where it's so it's so it works so well. It's uh, it's actually a problem. You know? <laughs> Okay, well, what was it? What was the turning point on the progress that you made? Well, the turning point was uh, really taking the time, you know, having the programs, learning, learning what was in them, to take the time to take care of her, and to figure out what she needs, and to do this for her, to take just to make the effort to get her what she needs in the bedroom to service her. Oh man, now and now and now you're 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 servicing the shit out of her, huh? Every day, every day. Well, describe the uh, situation. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what went down? How did it go down? Well, so I finally figured out what she needed. I was, you know, playing with her, like uh, using one of the five play techniques, and I uh, found one that she liked, and I went with it, went with it, and then I, I replaced my fingers with my tongue, and so I'm down there, like the email describes, and I, uh, I, I and I get this, this liquid in my, it's a strange salty taste. <laughs> <laughs> and then I didn't mind. And uh, I thought it was just lubrication. I was just like, okay, whatever. And then she starts 
gyrating and you know she's got the stomach motion going and her face you know her eyes rolls the back of her head you know all that stuff and she's making noises that's that's pretty much and she climaxes and just like you taught me i keep going i keep going and i I do it for a good 15 minutes before you know she says okay you gotta stop which which is good for me because my jaw yeah my tongue was like (laughs) 30 times six now, wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait,
really be feeling you, right? So what's going on, everybody? Triple W dot the man mindset dot com is your boy the Dean. Class is in session. You know what, guys? What I want to talk to you guys today about is attraction. And the thing for a lot of you guys is that you think you get a pass straight to attraction immediately. That's not going to happen. In order to do that, you have to make sure you get curiosity. The following is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language. It is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Welcome to the Dating Advice Hour with your hosts, Mr. Locario and Steve the Dean Williams. This show will teach you how to keep conversations going, how to be more attractive, more confident, more masculine, how to be better at knowing what to say to a woman and have a more satisfied dating and sex life. Mr. Locario is the bad boy of the dating game. Badboymembership.com is where you can go to step up your game as Mr. Locario provides you with detailed step-by-step dating advice, audio video tutorials every month. Steve the Dean Williams has been teaching men about dating, sex, and manhood for over 25 years. From building yourself to having the perfect marriage, his website is www.themanmindset.com. The call-in number is 515-605-9373. That's 515-605-9373. Take it away, guys. (laughs) All right, we're here. Miss Lacaro, what's good with you, fam? How you doing, man? What's good, man? What up? I'm I'm chilling. I'm chilling. What's good with you? How's everything? Shit, everything's good over this motherfucker. All right, we're here. Oh, shit. Uh, Guys, y'all want to call in? The number is calling live at uh, 515 605-9373. 605-9373. That's 515-605-9373. Press 1. We'd love to have you in. My, Miss Lucario and myself are here to read emails to you guys and uh, chop it up with you guys uh, and read and just uh, do what we do for our for, for our hour. And so Miss Lucario can get out there and do what he do best, chop it up with them women. So, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. So uh, why don't you go ahead, Nicari? Why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself, man? What you got going on over there at the BadBoyMembership.com, fam? Yeah, so, you know, all you guys need to make sure you go to BadBoyMembership.com right now so that you can join the Bad Boy Membership where you get 45 to 90-minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. So all you guys should be on that. Um, also, make sure that you guys sign up for my 30-minute game sessions. This is when you get a half an hour one-on-one with me private uh, coaching session that you can get right now. Just go to MrLocario.com. That's M-R-L-O-C-A-R-I-O.com and sign up for the 30-minute game sessions. All right? So, yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Guys, you want to check me out, www.themanmindset.com. I'm uh uh, getting great information from Mr. Lucario, and because of Ms. Lucario's help and everything, I, which is greatly appreciated, uh, we are going to be opening up our membership um, on the first of the month. So uh, I just want to—I've been picking Ms. Lucario's brain on this, so I just want to say thank you, and I appreciate that's this, up, shit. man. Yeah, I appreciate yeah, that's it. What's up, man? You got to—you got to—you got to get on it, man. You got to get on man, it. Man, I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm this is the car. I'm trying to get on it, man. I'm trying, and you know, I'm just hey, like I say, I'm trying to trying to be like you and everything, fam. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm trying to get on it, man. But yeah, I just wanted to say uh, I appreciate all the help and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and get into these emails. Uh, do you want me? Should I go first, or you would like to go first? Who's up? Nah, nah, you, you go first. You go. All right. Well, let me switch. God damn, Mr. Carr. We can't even we can't even go first without having a question. Erico, let me ask you. Erico 216. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hello? Yeah, 216. What's up? What's your name? Where are you calling from, man? 216. Damn. All right. I he guess. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess he did, man. He said, hello, we spoke to him, but let me go ahead and read the email. Let me read what I have. Who? okay, Mr. Lucario. Okay, I'm new here. Nice to meet you all. I've been seeing this amazing chick for about a month now, and we've been on three dates. The second date, we had sex at her house. 
The third date, we had sex at my house. When we're together, she's very affectionate, kissing me on my forehead, rubs my head, and wants to cuddle all the time. I'm very into her, but she tells me that she doesn't want to get into a relationship. And also, she says, uh, and she, oh wait, and when she's at home, she doesn't think of me much, which I think is bullshit. But her previous, but her previous douchebag boyfriend hurt her so, so she doesn't want to go through the same thing with me. She was with him for three years, and I'm completely, I'm a completely different guy. We have been texting each other every day. Some days we don't talk, but I like to give her space when she needs it. She goes out with her friends, and I don't mind at all. I want to make this girl my girlfriend, but she told me she's not in the right headspace, and it could take a year for her to think about dating again. I want to know what can I do to make her change her mind. She really likes me, and we are great for each other, and I know it. And she knows she knows it, but she's very closed off with her emotions right now. And I have a fourth date coming up with her fr- with her this Friday, which is Friday night, which is tonight. Um, uh, almost done. Then she's clubbing on Saturday, but isn't the type of girl who uh, s- who sluts around. I just want to know where I, I can improve with her to make her come out of her shell. Should I do nice things for her? Not go overboard? Should I back off a little bit? Uh, and let her get her head right. I'm confused about my information, and any help that you would give me would be great. Oh man! All right, let me. Let me, let me <laughs> I'm sorry. I know it's kind of long. I know it's kind of long, man. Shit. No, no. no it's, it's, it's good because I, I got to tell this up though. Because the thing is this, man. And I said this before on a number of different occasions. Uh, when you know, when you guys out here dealing with girls and you actually want, because I know some of you guys want a certain girl to be your girlfriend and all of that. And I always say, like, you got to understand that the girl has to choose, meaning she has to choose to want to have that sort of relationship. And then when she chooses, then that's when you okay it, meaning that you have to basically fall back, just, you know, hang out with her and hook up and do what you do, like do what you've been doing, just chilling with her. And then at a certain point, she's going to get emotionally attached to you. At that point when she gets emotionally attached to you, that's when she's going to bring up, hey, what does this mean? And we should, you know, we should take it to the next level, yada, yada, yada. And then at that point, you say, all right, cool, I'll, I'll fuck with you. Because at that point, that's when she actually wants it to happen. That's when she uh, is, you know, ready for it to go down because she's at that point point ready like right now she's like oh i was just you know this happened and that happened and i'm not there so there's really no way that you can sort of get her to want it she has to want it for herself and the way that she ends up wanting it for herself is by you just being cool calm and collected going out with her hanging out with her hooking up with her and just you know keeping it real casual and at a certain point she's gonna want it because she's gonna be like wow i'm starting to really like him you know, we've been we've been seeing each other for a while, and now I want to take it to that next level. But the thing is, the thing that's going to mess it up is you trying to make something happen. You sort of saying, yo, girl, you know, why can't we be together? And I really like you, and, you know, all that other stuff. All that pressure is going to make her sort of push you off of her, and she's just going to fall back, and, you know, she ain't going to want to really want to mess with you. But if you're there, and you're just being, you know, chill, and she's just enjoying the time with you at a certain point, that's when she's going to really uh, want to make it happen. But you got to just sort of relax and, and let it flow naturally. You see what I mean? So that's, that's my thoughts on it. But Steve, what's your, what's your thoughts on that? Well, the thing that I'm thinking is is that uh, this is kind of a tricky situation because, see, what, what he doesn't understand, I, and you're going to feel me on this one, what he doesn't understand is the when you, when you, are, when you are skilled – with the knowledge that you know you give and I give all the time you don't necessarily you're asking the I feel like he's asking the wrong question because I really think like a for, for instance um a, 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 let's look at a, a Mercedes or a Bugatti or a Jag or a Ferrari or a Porsche mm. uh what do they all have in common right. Then the name alone sells the the vehicle. The vehicle doesn't have to do anything. Right. It's just the name, Nike, Jordans, 
you know, it's the, the, the brand that sells the product. And what I think is wrong here, Mr. Lucario, is that he, okay, Mr. Lucario is a brand. Alan Roger Curry, right. a brand. Steve Dean Williams, right. a brand. That means we don't have to sell ourselves for any woman because when a woman gets with us, she knows what the brand has to offer her. And at that point, she knows what she has to do to prove to us that she's worth our time. And I think what's happening right. here in this situation is he doesn't have a brand. He doesn't have a, a foundation to stand on, Mr. Lucario. So... What happens in those type of situations is that if there's nothing special about you, why would someone invest in you? You know what I mean, fam? And I think right. I think that's the I think that's the issue that we're having with, with this this person right here because okay, if uh, if you had sex twice, okay, he said he had he the first time was at his place, second time her place. So if if you have done it twice already and you're not beating the brakes off of her like you should be she should mm. want to be with you not only based off of your brand based off of who you are based off of your behaviors but she should want to be with you because the sex and all the other passion stuff that came along with it is something that no other guy can give her you know she, she you know she should be so tempted and like you know what i don't want to fuck this up but if you notice that she's not really pushing or really trying to be up under him, because again, this is a difference between Miss Lucario. I uh, say, okay, we know Nike, we know shoes are like five dollars. It makes it makes cost five, probably around five or under five dollars to make a shoe or something, a pair of shoes, right? Mm. But right. it's not the shoe; it's the brand because you can have the same shoe, Mister Lucario. And you you stamp Nike on it, it the value goes up. You stamp Payless on it, right. the value goes down. The shoe is always going to be right. the shoe, but it's the brand that is attached to the shoe that gives it its power and gives it the thing that makes women say, "Okay, I, I you know I don't care about the shoe. I just want to be associated with the brand. I want to be associated mm. with the guy." Right. So. Um, and, and my, and my, and my, my, just for me, and I throw it back to you, fam. I just think that he, his brand, his brand of, remember, it, I mean, I could, again, I talk about you and I, Mr. Cario. Uh, I like, again, I don't know what Mr. Cario do, but we smell our own. Miss Lucario's brand right. is Lucario seduction, Lucario freaky, right. Lucario dirty, <laughs> Lucario nasty, right. Lucario romantic. Lucario seduction, you know, Lucario smooth. And that's part of the brand if you're getting with a Lucario, so to speak. But with him, what are you getting in return to make you want to be a return customer? And I think that's right. why she's she's weighing her options out because the quote unquote brand that he's presenting to her isn't strong enough to make her want to be with him. What's your thoughts on that, fam? Right, right. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, it's probably, and, and that's the thing because, like, the girl, she has to want to do it. She has to have that feeling that inspires her to actually say, "Yeah, I want to like mess with this guy." Because you know, women at the end of the day, even when, because look, women will say, "Oh, I'm I'm just not ready. I'm not. I'm I'm focused on this, or I'm not in that frame of mind, or whatever." But all of those things they say, truthfully, are really just excuses and rationalizations to, you know, for them to stay at the moment. You understand? Because a woman will say, oh, I just need some time for myself or I need, but it, it's really not that. If she, if she found what she wanted, literally at that moment, she would take it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So the thing is, and, and I think in his situation, like, he, his, he, he either doesn't have a brand or he hasn't developed his brand in a way where she recognizes it yet. You see what I'm saying? And so I'll say, and this is why sometimes you have to be in a situation as a guy to just be doing your own thing. You create that brand, and then that's when she starts to recognize and want to jump on it. It's almost like, you know, when you have 
um, an artist. That's yes. Trying to get a record deal, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And then nobody's really paying attention to them and all of that. And right. then once the artist says, you know what? I'm gonna stop getting the records. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna just do it on my own. I'm gonna keep my shit popping. And then they start getting hot in the streets. And then that's when all the record labels start hollering. That's when everybody's trying to get all up on them. You feel what I mean? Yes, so absolutely. It's them doing their own thing, and then that's when everybody's trying to get on. So same thing with this guy, is that he shouldn't worry about trying to get her. He needs to just be doing his own thing, and then by doing his own thing, that's probably, that's the way, the way he's going to get her. It's just by doing his own thing, and then she's going to recognize how valuable he is, and be like, "Damn, like I need to, you know, grab onto this dude before he, you know, he's gone." You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's the that's the thing that you know really needs to go down. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, absolutely. I I totally agree. Uh, and again, we have a phone call real quick, guys. Again, if y'all want to call in, five one five six zero five nine three seven three is the number. 515-605-9373 is the number. Press 1, and we'll be happy to bring you in. Uh, here's the other call. I think he called and accidentally hung up before, so let's see if we can get him back in. 216, did you have a question, sir? We have a question from Mr. Lucario. What up? going on? Yeah, I was talking to Mike about open relationships, and uh, they brought up, well, if you and that, and you're dealing with somebody else, what if uh, the other person they're dealing with, they like them more and they leave you? Like, they, they feel like that's a problem in an open relationship. I don't know what you think about that. So you're saying that being in an open relationship, the problem is that if they get with someone else or they, they see somebody else, they might want to leave you for that person. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that, that could happen, but that also could happen in a monogamous relationship. The only difference is in a monogamous relationship, you it, it it catches you by surprise. You know what I'm saying? Because if you if you with your girl, or you know, and let's say she's sneaking off and sees some other dude, she's gonna one day say, you know what? Um, I'm leaving you because I'm going with so and so. And you're like, what? Who is this guy? I didn't know you like you was cheating on me. Blah blah blah. Versus if you're in an open relationship and the person you know is seeing other people, they could also have the freedom to go and you know, leave with that person. You see what I mean? So it's not saying that, see, the thing is people in, in society, they have a thought process of thinking monogamy gives them a force field of of their spouse or whoever and not leaving them. You see what I mean? Like anybody you're with, if you're dating them, if you're just a fuck buddy, if that's a monogamous relationship or if it's an open relationship, anybody in any situation could leave you at any time. You see what I'm saying? So... So worrying about that is kind of like a waste of time when it comes to a relationship, not or whatever. It's still all the same thing. So it's so I always tell people when you're in a relationship, you got to just enjoy the moment you're in the relationship because you never know what can happen. You see what I mean? So it's, it's, that's really like, you know, the, the end all be all to that to that argument. I get that all the time. They'd be like, oh, what if? What if, you know, you're in a real relationship? What if your wife leave you for another guy? And I'm like, well, you're in a monogamous relationship. What if your wife leave you for another guy? It's the same shit. <laughs> well, so, let, let, me, same yeah, let me ask about uh, 216. So your question is, you're worried about losing your girl if you let her have an open relationship? No, I was talking to somebody about open relationships in general, and they brought that up. What did they bring up to you? They brought up. What if the person leaves you for the other person they're dealing with? Oh, wait, you were talking to a guy about this or a woman? Okay, hold on. Uh, and okay, Lucario, see this is this is see this is this is it goes back to what we were saying uh earlier, uh the answer in the first email. You you gotta understand something. When you're if you're doing everything right, two one six and anyone listening, if you are doing everything right as a man. You're doing everything right with your mouthpiece. You're doing everything right in the bedroom. You will be the first one to let you will let again. Look hard. How many times have we done this? We're with a woman and you know what we say? You know what? You can have the open relationship. You can see anybody you want to see. You can do whatever you want to do. If you want to go out to dinner with anybody you want to. And the woman's like, yes, I got the best of both. She's like, Mr. Carr, she thinks she she winning. She's like, yeah, I can. You mean to tell me I can go out with other guys and I can do all this other stuff and be with you and, and you'll be fine with it? You'll be absolutely right. But see, with 216, what you need to tell your boy about what they don't what he doesn't understand is 
I'm not worried about losing her because the problem we a Lucario and myself get is once we begin to do this sex stuff with these women, everything seems mm -hmm. to change. All of a sudden, it's where are you going? Uh, who are you going to see? And, oh, I don't feel like going right. out tonight. And, uh, you know, I was going to go out with such and such, but I'd rather just spend some time with you. And then it's like, um, 202, we're bringing in one second. Then it's like, Mr. Carter, that, that, that they want to have that talk then. I, I know you said we wanted right. to be friends, and I know you said that, uh, you know, I can do whatever I want, but I'm starting to care about you. And I don't want to see you with any, hey, tell them about that. Let's talk about that for a second, Ms. Lucario, before we bring in 202. But let's right, talk about right. that for a second. Right. Well, also, too, that's, that's another good point is that what you got to understand is, and this is, what, this is what I always say about, because people always look at uh, relationships as a competition. You feel what I'm saying? And so people are always thinking, well, this person's going to want this other person more. This person, you know what I mean? And so what you got to understand about it is that, if your girl wants what you have, she has to stick with you. You see what I mean? And so when she realizes what you have, usually that's probably that's going to be the thing that's going to make her not want to go anywhere anyway, even if she has the option to do that. You know right, I mean? right, 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 right. So and what, I, what I find is funny, because the thing is, because, you know, with me, with my open relationship, what I noticed is a lot of times my girl is always, like, checking in on me to make to see what I'm doing, and then she'll be like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah. I want to spend more time with you." Yes, <laughs> yes, she has the yes. Opportunity to go out and do yeah. Too. So it's, it's that type of thing. So a lot of times it comes down to that. This is why a lot of times you'll even see or you even hear when people are just dating. Yes. Um, they're they're like you know they're not really in a in a uh, you know in some type of long term relationship, but they're just dating. They're messing around with other people, whatever. A lot of times you hear women will sometimes end up having a lot of sex with the same dude because right. um, his sex game is on point. You know on point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. He's with. You see what I mean? And it's yes. why she's got to, like, stick around a little bit more. You see what I mean? So there's, there's also that other end of the spectrum. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just want to say to 216 before we bring in 202, 216, this is what, now this is something not for you, but your boy to learn as a lesson. If you're worried about losing your girl, then your game, your sex game, your mouthpiece, and all that other stuff need to do have work on it. Because if you are confident in what you can do and you can move mountains in a woman's mind without even touching her, you shouldn't even worry about losing your girl. Matter of fact, what you should worry about is her changing the contract of the agreement that you have that's what you need to worry that's that tells you about your your boy or whoever asked the i guess you said your boy asked a question so your boy going he needs some work because if he's worried about uh the woman leaving him then there are some issues with him that he needs to fix on his own uh bring you in real quick 216 does that make any sense to you man i'm sorry Okay, all right. Well, thanks, man. We'll throw you back in the queue. Let's bring in the next caller. Guys, if y'all want to call in, 515-605-9373 is the number. Press 1. We'd love to have you in. Right, this is a DC, man. 202, what's your name? Where you calling from, big dog? Well, we know where you're calling from. What's your name? What's your question? Hey. Yeah, what's up, man? It's John from DC. What's good, John hey, from John DC? Steve, Mr. Le what's good? Hey, man, Mr. Lucario, man, we was chopping it up a little bit earlier. And, um, what's up? I just want to... Yeah, I want to I want to bring something back, man. I had an additional question uh, about like going all in, or possibly mm -hmm. like just trying to set it up for later on that night, mm -hmm. and, right. and like how to kind of like how to kind of like navigate around that. What, what's the question? What was what was this question? Yeah, say the question over. Yeah, what, what was your question? Yeah, say can you say the question over. Oh, okay. So like. When you when you when you meet a chick, you know what I'm saying, and you 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 ready right that minute, you know what I'm saying, and you feel that she's feeling you as well, and so you go ahead and lay it all on the, you know what I'm saying, lay it all on the table, but that could potentially like jeopardize the whole situation, versus just kind of like going slow and setting it up for later on that evening or maybe even the next night. Okay, what are you setting up? You right. mean you mean the fuck or what's the what's the setup? What are you trying to set up? I mean, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Right. So. A, a lot of it, a lot of it, I would say real, real, you know, 
uh, if we talking just in a general sense, is thinking about or, or, or seeing the vibe in the situation that you're in with the girl. Because sometimes you, you, you're you dealing with a chick and she's making it blatantly obvious that she's trying to make something happen. So there's not that much you need to do because she's really trying to make it go down and she sort of follows through and cooperates all the way through and then it goes down. So you could, you could you know, be taking it slower. You could just go all in and it wouldn't really matter because she's down regardless. You understand? But the thing is, I think what, what, what messes a lot of guys up is more so doubting um, yourself in the situation of, of feeling like you don't really know what to do at the moment. You know what I'm saying? And then by not knowing what to do at the moment, there's a lot of hesitation that comes along with it, which, you, which sometimes messes up this, the interaction. So if you're trying to go in all the way, you understand? Like, let's say you're talking to a girl, you want to go on some mode one type of shit and just be like, yo, this is what it is, let's do this, let's be that. And, you know, you just see her reaction based off of that and then you move forward, you understand? But on the, on the, on the flip side, you could be on some, oh, let me try to set it up for later or let's take it slow and all the other stuff, and then nothing happens, you see what I mean? So usually what you need to do is, as, you know, at the end of the day is that if, if the situation calls for it where she's actually ready to make it happen, you need to sort of strike while, while the pussy is hot. That's what I usually say, where she's ready at that moment, so you could just go all in and make it happen. You understand? Now, if you try to go in and make it happen, but it doesn't happen, then after that, you could probably, you know, uh, wait for, you know, maybe see what could happen the next day or whatever, because depending on the logistics or whatever the situation is, it might not be feasible to go in all the way at the moment. So it's really just filling out the situation and choosing, um, you know, at the end of the day, what's the best route to go, you know, based off of what's happening in the situation. You know what I mean? Right, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Two hundred two. Check mm-hmm. this out. Check this out. Two hundred two. So, uh, I'm about to play some. I have one of my clients uh, that that uh, had, was kind of in a situation like yours. He was with a beautiful woman. She was bad as fuck. He met her, and the thing that he learned. See, the thing that I, I want you to understand is she knows she knows you guys want to fuck, okay? But what throws a woman off is a guy that knows that he wants to fuck, but he's chill about it. That he's like, you know what, I don't need to rush it because you're not the only one type attitude. As in, you know what, yes, you're sexy. Yes, you're beautiful. Yes, you're all those things. And yes, I do want to fuck you. But you know what, I want to fuck you on my time. When you have that type of attitude. Because then what will happen to O2 is then what, what I always instruct my clients to do is get on the phone first. I wanna. I look. I, I look. Like I always tell Mr. Cario, when we, I meet a woman, the pussy's already mine. So it's there's no even there's no really reason to even go for something that's already mine. I mean, the, the pussy's mine. It's just matter when it's just a matter of time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna show her why she needs to invest in me, and by doing that, like what's all that? Car is that you or two o two? Y'all like cr- crackling. No, no, that was me. Okay. Oh, yeah, mute yourself, man. Mute yourself, Lucario. <laughs> mute yourself, man. So, yeah, mute yourself, Lucario. No, but what I'm saying is is that... Um, hey, hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. It, it, Steve, sound like you over there counting, counting a lot of money, man. Yeah, he counting paper. Yeah, I know, man. Put that paper down for a second, motherfucker. No, but no, 202. So, what I was saying, <laughs> what I was saying is, is that what I would want you to do is I don't want you to be like everybody else. I want you to make... I want... See, I want her to want the bait, but don't even know there's a hook inside of it. And by doing that is using your mouthpiece to show her why you are who you are. Because a motherfucker that's smooth about this shit, I don't need to rush to get that pussy. Why? Because when she gets done talking to me, she's going to realize that I have more women on my roster just based off my mouthpiece. So then at that point, you then begin to intrigue her to want to be with you. See, here's the thing. See, I don't want you, I don't want you to want and go after her. What I want her to do is I want her to want you. Because when she realizes that you were that motherfucker with the mouthpiece, when she realizes that you smooth about your game, I want her to want you instead of you wanting her. Then she gives you the pussy based off of you wanting her. No, I want her to want you. 
And then and that's what my that's what I got my client to do. I had my client, he slowed it down, he used a mouth game, right? He got her on the telephone, right? But what he did was he reinforced it. C2OT, we reinforced it. Now, I'm going to play you a clip of the, of the chick's phone call. You probably never heard this before. Everybody who's listening, they probably have, but I'm going to let you hear it real quick. I want you to hear the phone call that she sent him after he used the five play, the fucking the techniques that I have for him. So remember, his mouth game got her to want him. But then when he was with her, he solidified it because a lot of guys talk a lot of shit. They talk about what they can do, but they never, they never go, they never follow through, okay? So this guy came through on the phone, then he followed through, and Mr. Look, hey, Mr. Carr, you're going to be like, dog, why are you taking my girl's phone call? Because this, look, 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 202, what you, about, what you about to hear, what you about to hear is the normal phone call from a Mr. Lucario, from me, and anybody who get asked, and again, 202, if you're doing it correctly, you should have a phone call like this. Listen to this real quick, okay? Say, Listen to this. Thank Listen you this. for um, letting me have a couple of days to actually think <laughs> about what freaking happened um, the other night. Anyway, um, it was so funny how I had my whole mind made up on, like, let me leave your ass alone. I just felt like you were trouble. And it's so interesting how by this because I was right, you know? Um, I ain't gonna lie, I do have questions. I'm like, how do you do that? Like, you know, who taught you that? Like, are you a goddamn professional? Um, <laughs> so on, just on a real note, like, that was amazing. It was totally, like, perfect. Like, if I were to vision what I want my man to be sexually, you would be that person, like, hands down. Um, am I mad at you? Hell yeah, because you know that you got those skills. So for you to do that to me, that was not... <laughs> at all because um, I was getting to know you in a whole different way and it was um, it was cool too like that other way was um, also nice you know so um, yeah I don't know um, you know it makes me more curious about like who you are and what you're really about um, I won't lie you know but again, I keep feeling that vibe of like, how you gonna do me like that? That is not nice. So you definitely, um, at some point, will have to like give me that explanation because I'm just real curious. But um, that's it. I'm not, you know, in any way um, mean anything else. Uh, I think I'm okay. <laughs> well, let me stop right there. Okay, so two o two. Now, now you heard that. Now here's the question: Is he wanting her more? Or is she wanting him more, 202? Oh, she wanting him. Exactly. That's the point. You see, now Mr. Carr would be like, damn, dog, why you steal my voicemails and shit? But no, but <laughs> what, 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 I'm, what I'm saying for you, 202, and anyone listen, that's what we want you to get. See, look, I know you want her. She knows you want her. But one thing that makes you uh, different, that we want to make you different, is we want women to want you like this. That's what I'm talking about. I Look, like I said, when you know the pussy's yours, that's how they're going to act. Because then they got to prove themselves to you instead of you doing it the other way around. Because most of these cakes, Mr. Lucario, they'll do the dinners, they'll do the drinks, they'll kiss her ass, they'll, right. they'll do all this cakey-ass shit for her because they're not, they don't know their value and their worth. Once you learn your value and your worth, 202, it's not a thing of if you're going to get the pussy. It's when you're going to get it, but it's going to be on your time because you're not thirsty for it. You don't need to go at it right now because a man who has a lot of women has what? A lot of choices. And once she realizes you have choices in other women, that's when the pendulum is going to turn. And that's when she's going to start to want you instead of you wanting her. Lucario, what you got on that, fam? Yeah, no, I, I totally agree with that. See, the thing is, is that, again, like I was saying earlier, is that at the end of the day, the woman still needs to choose. You understand? Because she she needs to be able to, like, solidify it in her mind and heart and soul that she actually wants it to go down with you. You see what I mean? And that's what makes it easier for you to, to make something happen. You understand? And, and sometimes, like I was saying earlier, that, she's automatically 
feeling that way and you, you see it and she's showing it and you sense it. You hear what I'm saying? But sometimes what happens is is that it's a little bit ambiguous or you don't really you don't really, you can't really tell that much or she's not really thinking about it or looking at it in that way. So that's when your behavior comes in to say, Okay, what's going on in this situation? What's the vibe I'm feeling and what's going on, you know, in this in this situation for anything to go down. And now if you see that she's not really um there yet or it's not really in that zone, then you can start to do things to try to get her to that point to make it happen. You understand? And sometimes it's it can be you just um, you know, filling it out a little bit and sometimes it can be you just going all in. You see what I mean? And so mm. a lot of times there's no there's no like one way that's right all the time or one way that's it, it all depends on like the the mm. context. It's kinda like if you say if somebody's saying, Hey, you know, how do I uh, defend myself in a situation. Does the guy have a, a gun or does he have a knife or does he have a fist? Like, what are you? What are we talking about? You gotta, you gotta see what's in the situation, and a lot of times that's gonna give you the input on how to, you know, respond in that situation. You see what I mean? So it, it's really all about. But the thing is, with you, you gotta, you gotta know how to respond in all those different ways, and also keep in mind her sort of like attraction and and attention she's giving towards towards you and see how, you know, you can balance all of that out. You see what I mean? Mm. Okay, yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, just, well, um, basically just, uh, you know, kind of assess the situation a little bit more before I come to a conclusion and, and like, operate just off of my conclusion before I really kind of, like, well, kind of scan the field. Uh, so to speak. 202, tell me something. What can you tell me about her right now? How long have you been talking to her for? Huh? How long have you been talking to her for? Um... Well, I, I had just met her earlier. See, I had called and spoke to Miss Lucario earlier about a situation mm -hmm. I was um, I was driving and I seen Slim on the side. Of the she was walking, so I had just you know what I'm saying pulled up, say hello, woo woo, told her she was cute. You know what I'm saying, come take a ride with me, and we just get to talking. You know what I'm saying, we get to you know what I'm saying. I'm telling her that you know since she got sexy lips, this and that. Let me see her titties and all that. <laughs> oh, um, so you going on for the juggler? That. You going for the juggler, huh? Yeah, I mean sure. straight up, you know, you know, yeah, you know I'm. I was, I was just, I didn't, I didn't whip out on her, but you know what I'm saying? I had her, you know what I'm saying? I took her hand and said, look, this, this is what you got me for right now. And you know what I'm saying? She all chuckling and woo, woo, woo. And I'm like, well, go ahead, man. Let's go ahead and, you know what I'm saying? All right, but what, all the way. but, but, okay. But wait, I want you to think about something. Cause I'm always about safety. I want, I want, I want you to really think about something. Okay. Now I don't know how much game you have, but I want you to think about this. If she is willing to do that to you and she doesn't know you, what do you think she doing with the motherfuckers who know what they doing, man? You got again. I, I, you, you. Yeah. I, I want, I want you to be able to look at the the red, the red flags as well, dog. I know that. I know. I know y'all guys love to. I mean, it's not porn, man. I mean, you got to be careful. I don't want you catching anything because again, she didn't do anything to qualify. Number one, but you know, you saying let me yeah. look at your titties and all this other, and then she's being receptive. That you don't you don't see that as a I mean the older you get you gotta look at these red flags think about this you know nothing about this woman you asking for things and she's willing to give them to you and you don't know her that well so who else is she doing that with? Yeah, you know you know I didn't I was I was just so <sighs> need you to th in the moment I wasn't even thinking nah we don't I need, I need you to be locked out of the moment and look at things look at the chess board not just the pieces because if you yeah, yeah. yeah cause again I'm not saying that I'm not saying she doesn't ha she has something I'm just saying that I, I before because look my, my your last name your sperm your yeah. dick everything that you have she should be working hard for it and if she's willing to give it that fast, and you let me think about it, you picked her up, she got in the car with you. Number one, you're a complete stranger, so that's that's strike one, because that means she get in the car with any motherfucker. Then all of a sudden, you talking about fucking and all that, you know, doing all this other stuff, and she giggling, dude. You <laughs> you gotta you gotta look at look look look. I, I know y'all motherfuckers want to fuck, but y'all guys gotta think about <laughs> these bottom of the look 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 look. I'm glad you got someone, but. Y'all motherfuckers got to stop fucking with these bottom of the barrel bitches, dog. Y'all got to get better quality women. Because a bitch walking down the street and getting in a car, low value bottom of the barrel 202, 
You got to get better, more sophisticated, where a woman can do more for you than, you know, vice versa. Lakar, what you got on that, man? What's your thoughts on that, man? No, well, the thing is, I, I, I like the fact that he was bold and he actually, you know, went up to her and, and, and said what's what. You know what I'm saying? No, I like so that too, like yes. Right. Like I was saying on the show earlier, though, when, when he was on, on my live stream, I was saying that, you know, the the fact that she was sort of wishy-washy about the whole situation, you understand, where it's like she was cooperating to a certain extent. And then all of a sudden she was like, oh, I don't know. I'm not really trying to do all of that. You feel what I mean? That to me, I was like, you know, it's cool to charge it to the game after that because he was actually, should he keep trying to like holler at her or should he have like tried to get it on a later date or whatever? And it's like her being on that wishy-washy type of stuff, you understand, to me is the red flag a lot of times because then she's the type of chick who one minute she's feeling this way, the next minute she's feeling that way, the next minute she's feeling that way. And I feel like you don't want to get yourself involved with in, with a lot of women who, you know, just are all over the place like that because then you're going to get yourself in situations you don't want to be in. So I don't have a problem with necessarily the the fact that the chick was cooperating just off a of jump in that moment. You feel what I mean? My whole thing was I just don't like the, the switching up that she did. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, how, well, how old was she? Switching up. How, how old was she? Hmm? How old is she? Uh, Like 20, probably no more than 21. Right, so she a young chick too. She a young you know chick. So, yeah. And, and how yeah. old are you? I'm 37. All right. See, so like, see, see, that's the thing with the, a lot of the young girls, man. It's like they still in that, you know, because 21 is 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 not too young, but it's still young. Yeah. And them chicks, they those are the chicks that they do stuff and then. They regret it later. Yeah, that's so. Yeah, well, 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 think about that. Instead of taking responsibility. Yeah, but think about that. You did something. You know. Yeah, but Lucario, think about think about that regret later. What if what if he did something, then she got that regret later, and all of a sudden he raped me type bullshit. You know what I mean? I mean, you can't. You you got You got (laughs) to. You you got to You got to be careful. Yeah, I I like I two hundred two. I love the I love your uh, assertiveness. I love the fact that you said all what you said and all other stuff. That's all good and dandy. But let me ask you this. When you dropped her off, okay, so she wasn't down. You drove her. You dropped her off. What happened when you dropped her off? Well, we didn't really go far. I just, when she got in, I said, well, look, let's just go to a little more private, secluded area. I wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. You you just met her and, you t- and, she, and she let you take her to a, a secluded area? Wait, if, no, no, hold on. Let, let, let me go. Oh, my fuck. Really, really. Oh, as a matter of fact, okay, see, because you know the area. Okay, I was in Bladensburg. Oh, Bladensburg. Bladensburg. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, no, Bladensburg. Yeah, hell yeah, no, Bladensburg. Okay. Okay, okay. So where the high school is, you got the apartments oh. on one side. You got you got the housing community on the other side. I was in the housing community, right? Oh, my God. So I'm just God. driving, and I'm at the stop sign, and I see, I see her walking down the street. So I let her, I just let her walk on to me and I rolled down the window to a, well, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Told her, you know, let's go ahead and get off this little, uh, intersection and go down the street somewhere. Just, you know what I'm saying? Chop it up. Okay. You know, and, um, after about 15, about 15, 20 minutes, you know, got a little touchy feely, whatever. And she kind of like backed off. So I was like, well, you know, I'm just, wherever you was going, I'm just kind of like slowing you up and let me go ahead and get about my day. You know what I'm saying? And, um, go ahead about your business. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm just like in the way. So. You know, she pretty much got out. Um, but before she got out, though, even though she had, like, resisted my, my, my advances, she reached in for a hug. And I found that to be, I don't know, maybe, like, she was just looking for some type of attention or some security. You know what I'm saying? But she, she gave me a little hug, and she walked up the street. And you didn't get any, y'all didn't, you didn't give her your number or anything? I don't even know her name. What the f- what yeah, man, dog? Yeah. Come on, man! Yeah, but, but look, yeah, come I, on, I man! Her. I I seen her and I was just like, man, this, this is just a right here, right now type of situation. That's kind of like why I went, went went hard like that. Did you have any rubbers? I ain't even, man. Wait, come on, dog! What's wrong with you? You're thirty six. <laughs> Hold on, dog. Come on, man. Y'all, you gotta. Th- I need you to think, man. You're 37 yeah. years old, dog. You meet a motherfucking bitch on the street. You don't even know the motherfucker's name. You don't know shit about this bitch. 
<laughs> you trying to pull her over and try to fuck. You trying to fuck a motherfucker you don't even know raw? What's wrong with you, Mo? What's wrong, 202? Why would you? Yeah. Come on, man. Y'all got to I mean, think. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, you ain't had no no condoms or nothing. Nothing. He was gonna go raw. I know it doesn't. I, I know it doesn't make it any better, man. I was just trying to get some mouth action, man. But I know that don't make it any better. <laughs> oh <laughs> man. Oh God. As a matter of fact, see, I, I didn't. Ha- I, didn't, I really didn't have nowhere to take her. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna take her to my house. You know what I'm saying? And you know, like we would just. I was just trying to get it out of the way real quick. Well, know? well, well. Oh. Uh, <sighs> I understand that, but I'm just saying. So your question is, do you want to get back at her? How do you how do you get back at her if you don't even know her name or any contact information? No, 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 not her. I'm just saying, like them type of scenarios. When you find yourself in a scenario like that, is it better to try to set it up? You know what I'm saying? Exchange information and then set it up for later on that night or that weekend, or just go go full fledged, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right into it. That was that was my original question. And, okay. And the possibility of, I guess, throwing it all away, so to speak, if you go all in, all at once. Right. Well, I think I think again, it's, it's like I was talking about this on on my show earlier. A lot of a lot of things have to do with the context. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because in your situation, you know, you just like randomly you know, met the chick off the street and, you know, she got in your car and shit, you know what I'm saying? So it mm-hmm. just kind of like happened all fast in that sort of context. So that's different than if you was, let's say, you know, at, at a bar or something more, you just mm-hmm. happen to be walking down the street, you talk to some girl, y'all chilling, y'all start making out whatever, like, so it's just all about the context. So the context that it was in was kind of weird in that, yeah. in that sort of way. But if you met at a bar or something, y'all start talking and y'all start messing around, that's one thing because she's showing the interest that quick and then you could probably, you know, make something happen, go to a hotel, go to her house, whatever it is. But I think it was, I think what this specific situation, the context that it's in, is a, is a, it was probably like a lot of shakiness that could have went down in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Because cause when you first told me about, you know, like I just, I just got her off the street and she just came in my car. I was like, I, I, she's coming in the car. I know. It's, it's, She's showing cooperation, but at the same time, it's still, you know what I'm saying? It's, you still got to think about the context. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, so, man. So, it's not. It's, it's... So, so it's not It's not saying that you can't go in all the way uh, from the jump. You know, it's just that in the, in the specific context, like if you like if you had a bar, you met a chick and everything was cool, then yeah, go in all the way, y'all do y'all thing. But I think within this context, it was kind of like, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of it's kind of weird in that in that way. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just that specific. I think. Uh, yeah, that. Situation. Yeah, that, would, that was all over the place. Yeah, know? that was that's all over the place. Two o two. Shit, I I know they fucking, but damn, dog, this ain't like everything lined up for your ass, and this bitch got in the car. I mean, but you don't even know the bitch's name, dog. I mean, shit, man. Oh man, I wasn't even I wasn't even about that, you know. But uh, you know, I, I'm. I'm I'm, I'm real thankful with uh, what you said, Steve. You know, because I, I was being real reckless. You know, Please, I man. I, I mean, I, we 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 care head, about. Yeah, man. we care about you guys, man. I don't want. I don't want you. I mean, again, I, I just want. I want you to get all the ass you can get, but I just want you to think. But number two is, I I I know them bottle of the barrel bitches are easy to fucking easy to get, but I want you to do better, man. Get the lawyers and the doctor. Get something out of this shit. Get a bitch that's going take you out and spend money on you and shit. I mean, you, what you going to get from that bitch? What, a, a, a Wendy's hamburger and some nuggets and shit on the side? You know what I mean? So, come on, man. You got to do a little bit better, oh, though. Man. Just a little bit better, man. Come on, man. Yeah, man. I can dig it. Man. But bring some, dude, bring rubbers. with Man, always be prepared, man. Have your rubbers. Have your wipes. Mm. Have all that shit. And you should have a little backpack with a little cat. I talked about that, Lucario. You should always have a little, uh, a little uh, <laughs> kit with you with deodorant, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, rubbers, all that stuff. Because you, okay. you don't know in a mo- no moment's notice mm-hmm. if you're gonna be with a good chick. You spend a night at a house. You gotta have. You gotta be prepared. You know. So, just something to think about, man. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, man. You know, it, it it was just one of them things. You know, I wasn't out there looking for nothing. You know, but I just, I, you know, I felt like a spider in the flag. I know that was head. great. I love. Hey, listen, I I love the assertiveness. That's great. Look, you saw the you saw the zebra. Your bitter neck took up the tree. I love that. Mm -hmm. But this zebra was kind of like I don't know, man. Probably had some marks <laughs> and shit on it that like. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to bite that fucking zebra. That motherfucker, like, that motherfucker jumped in my... That, hey, the zebra just, like, said, open up. Let me jump in your mouth, motherfucker. That was like, hold up, man. Why aren't you running from me? Why Why are you asking to bite? You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying, though. So, just... <laughs> just saying, big dog. Just be careful, okay, 202? Hey, man, I appreciate y'all, man. Mr. Lucario, Steve, man. Um, much, much love 202 right. we'll throw you back in the queue man be safe fam alright Lakar. I guess we got one go ahead and read, your, read the email I guess we probably got one email to go before we end the show but go ahead and read your email sir right right alright so this one says um, <laughs> here's my situation when I go out I give these chicks my business card they always seem to look at the back of the card which is blank then they proceed to ask me what type of business do I have my response is, well, we'll discuss that when you call. And then um, I hit them with the flaky line from your book. Anyway, they call me the next day. And then I reply and tell them, let's hook up tomorrow at 6 p.m. And then that's when the conversation ends. What's the deal with that? What am I doing wrong? So oh, okay. he's basically saying, you know, he tell the chick, yo, holler at me. And she hollers at him, and he tries to date, but then nothing happens. After that. Okay, well, okay, 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 and and, and this is for man mindset thing. What what I what I want you guys to do is the, instead of waiting for the phone call to set things up, I want you to lay out everything early on so you don't waste any of your time. Usually, when I tell a guy when he mm -hmm. meets a woman, number one, I want you to tell her the reason why you walked over and started talking to her. Number one. But then number two, let her know uh, the what, what your intentions are. Meaning, you know what? I want to take you out sometime. Uh, remember, we don't do dinner. So it's either coffee, ice cream, or uh, fucking feed the duck. Something real light. But, uh, Ms. Lucario, I, I want to get that out the way because what's next is working on her, showing her why she should get with me. Then a few days later, making a play with her pussy. Then by the time you have the date, it's all about affection hugs and kisses instead of an interview so i I'd rather i rather him do it earlier mr cario as far as okay i think he did everything right yeah you know gave your card talked to all the other good that you, you did all that stuff right but the only thing that uh the only thing is i, I don't think he, since he didn't get his attention see he, he wasted his time and and here's another thing i just want to ask you a quick what you think mr cario i think when she called him he didn't know how to talk to her meaning that i think right, once right. he once he um talked to her a little while and then said hey you know what let's go out on a date she was like nah that's okay because i don't think i think she lost interest during the conversation uh what's your take on that fam what you got on that man right i think you know i think what it is is that you know sometimes when it comes to the chick actually responding to you and you, if you don't know what to like, you know, what to do, how to set things up, how to make it happen. Sometimes what could happen is that she can lose interest and then nothing goes down. Right. But a lot of times too, you know, sometimes you're going to have those chicks where they hit you up or whatever. And like you were saying too, where you have that thing where you like, okay, well, I'm a flirt with her get a, you know, playing with the pussy or all the craziness. And so certain guys don't know how to do that right. And then therefore, by the time she wants something to go down, it doesn't go down. Right. And then you have the other end of the spectrum where you you uh, respond to her. And this, and this is usually rare, I would say, is that you respond to her and then she doesn't respond back because the fact that she hit you up, because he said he, I, she hit me up and I said, let's get together at, at six. And then she doesn't respond back which is kind of weird and which is kind of rare. And I think sometimes it's just that girl, she's just fucking around with uh, a lot of different other dudes. And yeah. then she gets caught up in all that bullshit, which is why she's not responding back to you. Because the fact that she hit you back, um, one, that shows interest, that she, she contacted you after you gave her the card, sort of showing the interest. So for her to not respond back after you then set something up, that means that she's just sort of like all over the place. 
with with her situation. You know what I mean? So because chicks do that sometimes too. Because what they do is when they when they don't respond back, because you know she could have responded back at you know from the, like right now we don't know. Like she could have responded back to him at a certain time. But usually when you when the ch- if a chick uh, replies to you after you give it a card and you set something up and then she doesn't respond back, what she's doing is she's taking a lot of time to figure out her options of what she want to do for that weekend or whatever what it is like that. She's trying to check on so, so and so and so and so first, and then she's probably checking on you later and all the other stuff. So sometimes her not getting back to you is a sign that she's into you, but she still has other dudes she's into a little bit more or, or putting above you in that moment and before she's getting back to you. You see what I'm saying? She's trying to weigh out her options. Because if you were her number one option, she would get back to you immediately. You know what I'm saying? Or she would let it be known as soon as possible. But since she's going back and forth, she's looking through her options first, and then she's going to get back to you. So, you know, it all depends on what you're trying to do, what you're trying to make happen at the end of the day, if you want to continue with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, a lot of, yeah, a lot. I just, I again, I, I can't, I don't like it when they play games. I'm not about the, the game play and all the other bullshit, but you right about that, fam. Bro. Right. Uh, right. you, you, you gotta, you gotta be specific. You gotta let her know what the fuck is going on and, and work from that point. Don't sit around, don't sit around and, uh, uh, you know, I, I just, but I, 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 but I think that he bored her. I mean, I don't think he kept her attention. I don't think, uh, I don't know. I, I just think what he did, he just, it just wasn't enough where she was thinking, well, you know what? I want to, I want to spend some time with this guy, but. Is he worth it? You know what I mean, Miss Lucario. So I think, I think he kind of messed up uh, with the phone call. I like the fact that he did everything correctly. It's just that I think his biggest mistake was his mouthpiece when he had the opportunity. I don't think he took it very well. What's your take on that, fam? Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes what happens is, is that just there's always this like vibe. A lot of times when it comes to the game where, where dudes is dealing with chicks and everything and, you know, sometimes the vibe just isn't there. You know what I'm saying? So, like you say, he could have he been doing something that, that, you know, where she was bored or she wasn't just feeling the vibe or whatever. Because I, I feel like there, there probably was something else that happened within that time, you know what I'm saying, that he probably left out of the email which is what made her not be responsive or whatever like that, that, that could be also it too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, so it, it's little, it's little things. Cause I think what, what guys understand is that sometimes there's little things that you do or that happen that you don't really notice that, you know, presents or makes something, you know, go in a certain direction that you didn't really expect it to go in. You understand? So, and this is why when you get more well-versed in the game, you start to see, okay, well, I noticed I've been doing these things, which is why this is the, the outcome I'm getting. You see what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then sometimes you say, I noticed I've been doing these things, which is why I'm getting this positive outcome of what I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? So I think at the end of the day, it's really, you know, understanding those little sort of bits of information that really make a difference at the end of the day when it comes to, you dealing with these with these chicks you know what i mean so oh yeah no yeah. doubt man no doubt yeah absolutely all right well guys uh any more questions we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up we'll give you all a few seconds to call in and press one but if not we're gonna uh keep it moving but uh uh miss Carr, why don't you go ahead and give me your information one last time before we wrap this joint up man all right so definitely guys go to badboymembership.com so that you can join the bad boy membership so you can get 45 to 90 minutes audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Uh, make sure you go and check that out. Also, make sure you check me out every Friday from 3 to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on my YouTube channel, Locario Fan. Make sure you subscribe and so you can get notifications when I go live and you can, uh, we can make that happen. All right? So that's pretty much it. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, guys, if y'all want to holler at me, uh, www.themanmindset. Oh, we got a call real quick. Shit. Erico 510, uh, what's your question for myself, and Mr. Carr? What you got, man? Man, I know you guys got to go, but uh, pretty much I was calling because I, I ended up fucking this bitch last weekend, and I wanted to know because uh, I was trying to set something up for the week, and I hit her up. We set something up, 
and then she ended up flaking. So I wanted to know what you guys thought about how to deal with that. Like, how do you, where do I go from there? I took, she gave me kind of an excuse, like, oh, she's getting off work pretty late, and she got to do something early in the morning, but she wanted to kick it this weekend. I just gave her, like, a dry-ass response. I mean, I, what, what do you guys, what would you guys do in that situation? Oh, boy, you fool, boy. <laughs> go ahead, Steve. Go ahead. <laughs> Five one zero. Okay, do you have do you have the Kissy one hundred and one, the the five play, the fucking one hundred and one, or the make out products of mine? Do you have any of those? Nah, nah, nah. Of course you don't. And this is why you're getting what you're getting right now. Let me explain this to you. Your fuck game, your kiss game, your eating pussy game was so fucking terrible that she has other options, and she'd rather be with somebody else than be with you. She gave you an opportunity. You got the ass, but you didn't. You didn't. You didn't beat the ass up the way you should have to make her want to set it up. Because if you were doing it right, she would be asking you, "When can I see you again?" And she will be calling you, saying, "What are you doing this weekend?" She hit me up. She hit me up the next day. The next day, but, she hit me up because she wanted to. She wanted to. She wanted to link up that same day, and I told her I was busy. But you know, I had a good time with her, so I let her know, and I told her that we gonna make up. Soon. Okay, okay, well, we can stop right there. Let me ask you a question. Were you, what, were you, what were you busy doing? What were you busy doing? What was I busy doing the next day? I was just, just chilling with some friends or whatever. So okay, so you you were chilling with your friends. So you were chilling with your friends all all day. No, I wasn't doing that all day. I mean, I was but, okay. Well, yeah, I, 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 okay, understand, young man. This this is this is this is why y'all have the problems that y'all have. I'm not saying you got to spend the whole day with her, but when you blow her off like you did, you made her feel slutty. You made her feel like you just used it for the pussy or something. You made her feel bad because she wanted to spend time with you, and yet you 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 surely wasn't too busy where you could have spent at least an hour with the chick or 30 minutes with the chick. Why why didn't you spend a little bit of time? You, 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 because you know why? Because basically, I kicked her with her the first. I kicked with her like on a Wednesday, and then like uh, I actually called Ricardo about this last week, and then I talked to him about it, and I ended up fucking her two days later. That's like, good, good. Like basically that Wednesday, I fucked her on that Friday. So I was like, damn, if I, if I kick with her on Saturday, that's like too many times I'm kicking with this bitch. She won't get gas. Then so wait, wait, wait. Then why are you working? Then do But okay, but hold on, hold on. Then why even call and ask the question then if you don't give a fuck? Because you, you don't you gotta understand, dog, the brand is customer service as well. And your 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 service is terrible. What I'm saying to you, you see, apparently you wanted you wanted to see her again. Apparently you wanted to see her again. But yet, but but wait, wait, wait. But yet you didn't give her any man, come on, man. Dog, look, look, look. The thing, the thing I always tell you guys is anybody can get a piece of pussy. Anybody can get a piece of ass. It's making that piece of ass come back for more. That's when you know you're doing something. But if you're blowing her off because you you feel, excuse me, because you feel like you what you feel like you you felt like what it was just too much. You were spending too much time with her. What, what was your reason again? Yeah. I, I didn't. I didn't want to. I wanted. To, I didn't want to kick with her too much. Like I didn't want to basically just oversaturate myself. I didn't want to give. You know what I mean. I didn't want to spend too much time with her, so she felt like, oh, she could use my time up like that. So but I wait, could, wait, 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 wait. You, you but wait, 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 wait. You, but you was I hanging out. I had a good time with her. I, but wait, wait, dog, dog. You said your day was consistent of spending, hanging out with your boys, going to the gym, probably jerking off or something. What the fuck did you do all day where you couldn't spend? A little look, don't I'm not saying spend the whole day. Why couldn't you spend a little bit of time with her? Shit, I was busy at the time. I mean, you I was nah, at the gym, and then later on she wanted. Boy, uh, y'all motherfuckers, y'all be, man. Why you dog? This is why y'all motherfuckers fail with bitches, dog. Because y'all don't know how to handle these women. First, like I said before, first off, your fuck game was fucking terrible. I tell you that right now, based off of her behaviors. But number two, number two, big dog. Is the fact that you don't know how to handle women. You motherfucker guys don't know shit about women, how easy it is. If you would have gave her a crumb of your time the next day, 30 minutes, 
one hour, because I know you ain't that damn busy, but you didn't do that, and then all of a sudden you want to spend time with her, and she blew you off, and now you're asking, well, why'd she blow me off? Look at what you did. Your results and your behaviors are the reason she blew you off, man. Lucario, what you got on that, fam? So basically, I think what, what, what Steve is trying to say is, is that if you want a consistent type of flow with the chick, you got to get her hooked first. You Thank you. Me? Yes. And so, yeah. and, and so the thing is, is that, you know, because like if you just wanted to smash once and you don't really care and you just like on some, I see you when I see you and maybe I'll holler at you again and I don't really care if it happens or not, then, you know, you just do what you got to do. But the, the, the thing that most guys don't understand, and I actually did a video about this the other day, and I was saying that at the beginning of a situation you have with a woman, um, it's either what, what what usually happens is that might be the least amount of um, like emotional connection she has for you because the emotional connection is, is just building at that point. It's starting. So what happens right. is is that a woman is trying to save face or make sure she doesn't get so caught up. So she's looking for any signs to keep it moving. You see what I mean? So mm-hmm. the thing is that the, the, the flakiness could have been her saying, well, he, you know, I wanted to see him the other day, but he was too busy. So I don't want to get so caught up into him. So let me just fall back. You feel what I'm saying? But if in the beginning, we're not saying that you got to, you know, uh, clear your schedule and do all those other things right. for the chick. But if you, if you want to solidify a situation where you want to keep seeing a girl and get her hooked and she's actually being responsive to you, it's so, it's, it's a thing where you have to be able to build that emotional connection quickly and fast and in the beginning so that she gets hooked later on. Because later on, I, like, let's say, for example, three or four months from now, if this was the same scenario and you said to her, yo, I can't see you today, I'm busy, and then you hit her up again the next week, she would have just been like, all right, cool, I'll see you next week because now she's hooked. At this point, she's not hooked enough yet, so she has room emotionally to be like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? She's like, well, fuck it. I'm not gonna bother because I don't want to get. I don't want him to get me hooked, and then I, and then, and then he doesn't have time for me. You see what I mean? So her mind is at yeah. that right now. But in the beginning, you have to get her hooked first, so that even if she's thinking about that later, she's already hooked, so it doesn't matter. You see what I mean? So that's that's that that's kind of like what Steve was talking about. It's not necessarily just, um, you know, uh, taking time out just to get. Because I think a lot, what a lot of guys do is that they think. Well, if I spend too much time with her, she's going to lose interest because I'm giving her too much time. The only time a girl loses interest is that if she's on the fence and then you're, you're blowing her up so much, but she's not really into you yet. If a chick is already into you and she's showing that interest and you, and you give her a little bit of that time, that's what gets her hooked. You see what I mean? Yeah. So, so gotta, it, it, is a, it doesn't that matter. It doesn't matter if, like, you see a female, like, three times in, like, three days. Like, that shit don't matter? Uh, look, uh, no, no, no. It, 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 only, it, only matters, it only matters depending on what you're trying to do with the situation and also her interest level in you. So it's not that you're going to see her three times or whatever in a week. It's, 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 it's just that the fact that she, you're, it's almost like you're in a, you're in a, you're in a period of, you know when they call it like when they say the honeymoon phase? You heard what I'm saying? Mm. Of a situation. Yes. So in that honeymoon phase, it's like the people want to be, it's, everything is like exciting and all the other stuff at that moment, right? So you're engaging in that moment to, to, uh, to, to experience that excitement there. Now, what, what you did is, is, is I could say it in, is analogous to you, it's like you and her had the honeymoon phase, but you sort of brushed her off within the honeymoon phase. You understand what I'm saying? So now she's like, oh, I thought this guy liked me like that. I'm not really sure. I'm really, I'm starting to like him, but I don't want to get too caught up. And then he disses me. So let me auto reject him so that I don't get rejected. That's what women will do sometimes. You know, is that the you, you know, you know what the, <laughs> one of the reasons why I did it, I did the way I did it was because I remember you telling me that every time, when you chick with a chick, anytime you talk to her, it should be about setting up the next day. And you should set it up right. within that one week. So, like, you kick with a bitch, then you kick with her the next week, and then you kick, you know what I mean? Like, so I was trying to right. give that time where she could think about me. I, well, wait, wait, wait. That's she did think, dog, dog, that's what you understand. 
she did think about you. That's why she canceled. Right, like she, <laughs> right. So that, no, the thing is, and also too. So the, the 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 thing I'm talking about with that situation, and this is why I was even talking about this on the show the other day too. It's all about um, keeping game in the context of the game because the the reason why yeah. they hit her up and then you know let a week go by and then hit her back up again. That's for when you're dealing with chicks. Usually when they're when they're on the not necessarily on the fence. But they're still sort of like getting, making up their mind. They're not really like into you, into you like that. They're just sort of, you know, they're there, they're, which is, which is going to be a lot of the women you deal with. So you just hit them up one week, and then you see them next week. Hit them up one week, and see them next week. Now, if you see a chick, and then she is responding to you before that week is up, then you you can respond back to her. But that's only if you're trying to get her hooked. You see what I'm saying? Which is essentially yeah. what it seems like you want to do. So. And so it's it's almost like the game the game always is going to fluctuate depending on the situation. And I think that's the problem, the thing that a lot of guys don't get. It's like mm-hmm. you have your basic rule, but the rule is going to fluctuate based off of what's happening in that situation. So yes, being responsive to you, you can you know you can play that up at that moment. You don't have to. It's like you don't have, the, the 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 same rule doesn't necessarily necessarily apply because there's other factors in the situation at the moment. So if you do have a girl uh, responding to you, you can you should take it if you want to continue to see her like that. If you don't give a fuck, then it don't matter. You can just hit her up whenever. But if yeah. you're actually interested in getting her hooked so that she can keep going, then you you know you do it like that. You see what I mean? So that's the, okay. that's the thing. All right, man. Okay, that's that's the thing. All right. So one more thing. So should I should I should I hit her up? Should I should I hit her up? <laughs> listen to you. Listen to that like dog. That. Listen to you, man. <laughs> this is what I'm talking. This dog. Listen to you. First off, you wanted to be all cool about this shit, like you just wanted to hit. Now you want. Now you ask her, should you hit her up? This is man, look. See if you do your. No, I, I really want to know. I really want to know. Wait wait wait, 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 wait. Hit her up. What you gonna say if you hit her up? What you gonna say if you hit her up? What you gonna say? What's she doing tonight? You know, to make some plans for the night or for the weekend? And she said she hit me back with a response like, hey, let's kick it this weekend. So it's not like she hit me up and said, oh. Wait, did she, know, did like, you, wait, wait, she, wait, wait, wait. Did she say let's kick it this weekend? Did she tell you let's kick it this weekend? Yeah, she said let's kick then, it this then, weekend. Then, 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 dog, place. dog, sorry. then don't ask her, tell her what the fuck you going to do. Okay, then. Meet me, come to my crib at eight o'clock or nine. You tell her what you want. Don't give her the option of trying to figure out what you want her to do. You tell her, make a yeah. time, set a time. All right, let's get together at nine o'clock Saturday night. She's either going to tell you I can or I can't. Then you adjust your time based off of uh, what she says, man. But don't ask her. Tell her. Tell her what you want to do, man. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, and you know what I, you know what I, you know what I think too. I think the mistake is not just with you, but I think what a lot of dudes probably make is that it seems like you like the chick, and you're doing you're doing what you think you need to do to hook her. You're, it's like it's almost like you know when a chick, you know when you hear about girls who say, "Oh, I don't want to have sex with him now because." I want it, I want him to be my boyfriend later, and I want him to think I'm a slut. You know what I'm saying? You're you're doing yeah. the male version yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah I'm to, I, I want to be disciplined. I want to be disciplined to the game. You know, I want to think of my but, you, or my emotions and things like that. I'm but yeah, like but here's where you fucking up. Here's where you fucking up. What yeah. are you doing? What are you doing to make her want to come back to be a repeat customer? What kind of service are you servicing her with? And I don't mean caking and I don't mean kissing her ass and bending over backwards and act like some little simp. I'm saying when you're in the moment with her and y'all are in the bedroom or whatever you doing, what are you doing to make her want to come back? That's the question you got to ask, because if you were doing something, this 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 wouldn't even be a this would be a Miss Lucario. Should I should I put my finger in her, her throat now or should I pull her hair and smack her ass? That's what it should be. You know, this is but now you're asking, you know, this is all I'm just saying to you, 510. You guys have to understand. I'm not saying that you look, 
the, it, I want you to be Coca-Cola. When you think about Coca-Cola, what do you think about? You think about that tall sweating glass, the ice coming and, the, and that fizzy shit getting together. That's what you need her to think about when she thinks about you. That, oh my God, we had such a great time. I got to see this guy. And that's when you see, you guys don't know how to service women when you're in the bed. Y'all just fucking them. You're not servicing them to make them want to come back for a repeat uh, ride. You just hitting it. Right. Then you, then on top of that, you, you didn't want to see the next day, made it feel like shit. But now she's trying to give you another chance, but... <laughs> You, you y'all 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 trying to be too smooth y'all y'all trying to think like well you know i i i ain't gonna try to do this i don't want to think man fuck her feelings and fuck what she think you dictate the fucking board don't worry about what she gonna think about you you just make sure you know why it is you do what you're doing and then do it based off of that right. what, what you got real quick lacar because i know you got to go but you got anything and, on that and, and, yeah real quick i just wanted to, yeah and i just wanted to say like you know because the thing is, you you have to first figure out what what you're trying to do because, like, let's say for example, you say to yourself, okay, I'm, I, I'm I like this chick, I'm feeling this chick, I want to continue to fuck around with her and fuck with her, you know, I don't I don't want it to just be some random fan or just some random chick that I'm fucking with. So if you already know that, right? Like what you were saying, what you were doing, you were saying, well, you know, I'm calling her once a week and setting up the date and all that other stuff, which is a good thing to do. But you, those, what you're doing and what you're doing while you're doing that is you're doing that strictly to set a precedent for the girl to uh, start to really feel you and want you over time. But what happened was, was that she already showed you that she wanted you. So you don't have to do all of that. You see what I'm saying? She's right. already showed yeah. you. So she, since, since she's showing you, then you you take the the situation as it is now, and then you proceed. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> so you gotta. And this, that's the thing that I, I think I gotta get across because I don't want dudes to get confused in yeah, the game where yeah. like, you have the basics of what you do, but she already was the, the thing you were trying to do. She was already giving you. You see what I mean? L- she was already there, right. so you sh- you just needed to proceed. But go ahead. Little car, little car. He I don't even think he named the pussy. And I don't even think when he ca- I don't even think he called her asking what's up. I don't even think he talking shit to her. I mean that's what I'm saying. I don't understand. That's what I understand about you guys. Y'all don't man. You don't. You can't man. The, the next phone call you should be like, hey baby, how's my how's my pussy doing? Talking shit to her like that. Y'all don't even do that shit. I don't under, I don't understand what this is. Hey, this is why you get one and dones. Because you motherfuckers don't know nothing about females. Y'all know shit about women and how easy it is. See, you're not even looking at the big picture. You ain't even looking at the big picture, Zacario. If you do it right, yeah. she's going to sell you to her friends. Then you can fuck her friends. Oh, but you ain't even, he ain't even, he ain't even ready for that part yet because he don't, he don't even talk to, he ain't even talking that shit to her. He ain't even, he ain't even named a pussy yet. And he, he expect that motherfucker to be like, well, Okay. Man, y'all motherfuckers be killing me with this shit, boy. All right, fr- <laughs> well, hey, 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 five hundred one. We'll just call us back and let hey let us know what happened. Good luck, cause I I don't know what's gonna happen, but shit, mm, I guess, man. All right, yo, yeah, appreciate the game. No doubt, man. All right, man. All right Lacar, we we'll just go ahead and wrap this up, man. Yeah, all right, no pro- no doubt, five hundred one. Man, what's wrong with these guys, Lacar? Man. You, come on, man. You you don't think after I hit that shit down, I'm gonna send some. I'm gonna be flirty. It's nothing like making a woman feel sexy because that's part of the drug right. that you giving them, and that's what these young guys don't know. They don't know how to drug deal deal that drug. But anyway, let's go ahead and wrap this up because we are over. So go ahead, Lacar. Let's wrap this up. What do you got, man? All right. So yeah, definitely. Again, make sure you hit me up at badboymembership.com. So you can join the Bad Boy membership and get 45 to 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. You feel me? No doubt, man. Thank you, Mr. Lacar, for coming and showing up. Guys, if y'all want to holler at me, triple W dot manmindset.com. Holler at your boy. We will go from there. Y'all have a very, very good weekend. You got anything going this weekend, dog? You have a good weekend? Yeah, man. Just a lot of, a lot of, a lot of family time, a lot of work, all that stuff. You feel me? Yeah, I'm ready to have a good weekend, my damn self. So I'm gonna, yeah, let's get into it. Let's have both have good weekends. All right, man. We're gonna shut this shit down, man. I'm gonna holler at you later, fam. Okay. All right. Peace. All right. No doubt. Peace out, everybody. Later. See y'all later. Peace.